What's going on guys? So a couple days ago on my Instagram story, I asked you guys if you had any questions for Q&A on my YouTube channel and some of you guys answered. So I'm gonna be answering some of those questions. There were too many questions for me to answer all of them, but I'm gonna answer as many as I can. So I'm gonna start off with the more interesting ones. The first question is when would I have more tortoises available? And as you can see, I have a good amount of eggs. So in the next couple months, I should have some baby redfoots hatching out. And for the sulcatas, I should have them hatching out around April. And the next question is how to socialize a water monitor or really any monitor. So the way that I like to tame up my animals is not by handling. I like to first gain their trust by just feeding them. I start off slowly depending how wild the, to the animal is. And I just start first by putting the food in front of him and just waiting around and letting him watch me while he eats so that he could see that I'm not gonna be threatening him while he's eating, that makes them a little bit more comfortable. And when they get a little bit more comfortable with that, I like to use tongs to start feeding them with my hands. Uh, at first, you gotta go a little bit slow, you know, so they don't get too scared. After that, um, eventually they're gonna be more calm with you just by tong feeding, because they're gonna be used to seeing you all the time uh, when it comes to eating. So it's basically you're rewarding them for uh, interacting with you. And then eventually uh, you can start hand feeding them. That's what I did with this guy. Um, so yeah, I just started hand feeding him after a while. Another thing that I used to do with my Savannah monitor was soak him in like some deep water and just offering your hand as the only way out of the water. Um, that way like he'll just chill on top of your hand and he'll see that you're kind of like helping him out get out of the water. Although I don't really do that anymore. What I've been doing for every animal now is just feeding them like that. And it seems to work out very well. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but especially with monitors, but after a while they do get pretty friendly. The next question is, how is Godzilla and what are my plans with him for the future? So let's see if I could find Godzilla. He's right here. So here is Godzilla. He's my common snapping turtle. And you can see he's still very small, but um, he's doing really good. He's growing a lot. He's growing fast. Um, so yeah, he's doing great. And my plans for the future with him, if I'm able to get my own house by the time that he's probably maybe a foot or two, I would just build them already like a, a, a real pond. Like I want to make like a naturalistic pond under the ground um, and make it real nice for him. But if not, then I would just buy another one of these and put it right here, right next to him, uh, right next to this one and put him in there because I don't want him to be too big with the Indian spotted turtles because then he'll be strong enough that he could bite their legs or their tails or something by accident and could potentially cut it off. Um, but yeah, those are my plans for him. That would be something that will happen probably in the next year or two. So it's not something that I'm really worried about right now. And the next question is, what is my favorite pet? And here she is right now. My favorite, ow, bit me. All right, never mind. They're not my favorite anymore. Um, But, oh my God. Yeah, my, ow, these guys are going crazy. Um, But my favorite ones are definitely the Cuban Rock Iguanas. These guys are awesome. And you can see why, look how crazy they get. Hey, calm down, dude. And you know, with this cold front, they're attacking everything. You're trying to eat my phone now? Oi, oi, oi. Get back in there. These guys are getting crazy. Come on, get inside. Am I bleeding? I can't, so I can't see it. Oh, come on, get inside. Well, yeah, you can see why I really like these guys. They're so funny. Um, it's always fun to hang out with them. Yesterday, oh, uh, when I had... A friend of mine come over. They didn't want to come out at all. They were, they were uh, shy because it was they were um, inside their hide, so they hadn't warmed up. But today they're super active. I don't know what's up with them. Um, but yeah, let me put them back in their enclosure before they get a little too crazy. Because I have not seen them this crazy. They're probably excited because today's the first warm day um, in like a week or so. So they're able to get some sun and be outside. Hey, why'd you get out of your cage? Oh, you want to eat some grass? I'll give you guys some food now, all right? Just give me a second. And they've also gotten very friendly with each other. Right now, you can see they're, like, attacking themselves a bit. But they've been sleeping together and all that. So they're doing good. Hey, go back to sleep. Bye-bye. Psychopath. All right, but there we go. We're going to give these guys some leaves. And hopefully, they calm down a bit because they're a little bit hyper today. Like, more hyper than usual. But, yeah, you can see why I like these. Bro, are you crazy? Oh yeah, these guys are psychopaths. Come on. Time to go back. 
They're crazy. I'm gonna give them some more food later on though. I'm not feeding all the animals right now. I do that after this video. And I think I read the I think I read the question wrong at first. Um they asked what favorite reptile what was my favorite reptile that I owned, I mean, but um I answered right anyways, but my favorite animal is Gracie. I don't think anybody asked that, but Gracie's my favorite pet. Alright, and somebody asked what I think about Sokatas because I had bought them and I love Sokatas, but as you can see they get very big, so they're not for everybody. Um, I do breed the Sokatas as you can see. Tank's gonna be having some babies in the future, so if any of you guys are gonna be interested in a couple months, like I said, I'll be having some baby Sokatas. Uh, this brings me to the next question. What has been the reptile that you've had the longest that you got as a baby? And that's Tank. Tank I've had um, for about 15 years. I don't know exactly because I was a baby when I got him, but about 15 years. I think I was about three years old when I got him. Um, and he came to me like this big. So I've had him for a very long time. And, um, and yeah, you can see Tank's very affectionate. He even left the even left the female he was with just to be next to me so you can see that he definitely picks favorites and i'm his favorite right buddy yeah tank's awesome tank's one of my favorite animals i love sokatas um even though a lot of people don't like them just because they get so big they for some reason hate on them but they're they're awesome now somebody asked me what my favorite tortoise is and I would have to say radiateds. I've really liked radiateds for a while. I have never kept them, um, but now I got some Aldabra tortoises and I really like those. So I don't know if I'm still gonna like the radiateds after I keep them. I don't really know why I like them. Um, they just, they're just really pretty, I guess. And they've always, um, they've always drawn my attention. Even though a lot of people would probably say the big Galapagos or the big Aldabras, I really like radiateds. Although, like I said, after keeping radiateds, I don't know if I'm still gonna like them because I think my favorite ones so far that I've kept are the Aldabras, just because they're, I don't know, they're just very cool. The way they, that they stand, they seem so confident and it's pretty, I, they're just really cool to have around. All right, and somebody asked, will I ever sell Bonnie and Clyde babies? These guys are Bonnie and Clyde right here. And if I do have babies, I will sell them. Although, I don't know if they're going to be producing babies anytime soon. They're already starting to get a bit bigger. So, in the next year, they might have some babies available. Um, but we'll see. I would I would love to breed some iguanas. I've never bred iguanas, but they seem very interesting. And they seem pretty simple to breed as well uh, as the tortoises. But, yeah, you can see these. I love these lizards. Look at her. She loves being pet. Oh, you're going to get jealous now? All right, get back inside before you guys start causing a show again. Come on. And somebody asked, why don't you start owning and selling more species of aquatic turtles? And that's a question that I've been asking myself as well. I've been really trying to get into them. Um, as you can see, I already have a few species of aquatic turtles. I have Indian spotted, common snapping turtles, um, yellow or no, red ear sliders, and soft shell turtles and musk turtles. And I almost forgot I have a modern motto too, but I haven't been breeding any of them. I do sell some, I, I've been selling baby snapping turtles. As you can see right here, I have some baby snapping turtles. And these guys, if you are interested, you could already get them at shadowsreptiles.com. The link's in the description. You'll be able to get yourself a baby snapping turtle on there. But yeah, these guys are awesome. And I don't plan on breeding snapping turtles. I don't really want to breed them. Uh, these I got from a friend of mine that does breed them. But I don't think that I will be breeding them. If anything, I'll breed them um, just as a community pond type of thing like i'll have some in a pond and let them breed and do everything on their own and i probably wouldn't sell the hatchlings maybe what i would do is catch some and um wholesale them or something but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do if they do breed but they're cool and they're native here to florida so it'll be cool if anything i, I have to see i don't know if it's legal or not but maybe breed some and uh release them kind of like uh um as a conservation type of thing but that's not something that i want to do in the in the near future i want to do that um years from now when i get my own house all right and i got a question saying what is a good way to keep tortoises warm during the winter um what i did for my iguanas as you can see i built them a hide that i could transport and i could just lock this up and take them and whoa bro you're crazy today how many times have you jumped out of this enclosure all right you want to be on my shoulder i'll leave you on my shoulder but anyways um, I built this so whenever it gets cold I just bring the iguanas inside as for the tortoises you could build something like this and put a heat pad on the underside of it and probably make it a little bit more 
insulated so that the air doesn't get out just cover the holes make it a little bit more insulated and it'll stay pretty warm inside of something like this and these are some things that I want to do in my future house as well. I want to make big bunkers that look like caves and they will be all insulated and heated so that whenever there's cold fronts or um, hurricanes or something like that, I'll be able to just put the tortoises in there very simply and I don't have to bring them all inside like I've been doing for the past couple of years. All right, let's put this guy back. But yeah, they've been going absolutely crazy today. What's up, buddy? He was just eating a leaf, that's why he's doing that. Yeah, it tastes good. And what do I feed my tortoises? I've been feeding my tortoises some Missouri and obviously I give them a lot of other things. You can't just feed Missouri and you can't just feed one type of thing. I like to feed them a lot of different greens, weeds, flowers, and all types of things. Let them grace a lot too. But I also like to feed them some Missouri kibble. These, these are very good for like supplements and stuff because you could just give it to them and they'll eat it and it has a lot of nutrition that they need. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna get some of this Missouri for your tortoise, you could get it on my website, shadowsreptiles.com slash shop. And this works for babies as well. You just gotta soak it and um, it'll become soft and you can feed it to them like that. And the next question is, will you be selling spineless cactus and other foods for the tortoises? Well, as you saw earlier, I do sell the Missouri now on the cactus. I sent my first package out um, two days ago. And now I'm just waiting for a response from the, the person that I sent it to. Um, I like to test everything before I start selling it to make sure that it goes fine and smoothly when I ship it out and that the people are happy. So I sometimes give away free things to my customers or just to random fans. I give them some free shirts or free hoodies, see how it ships, how long it takes, um, if they like it and things like that. Just to make sure that everything is going smoothly once I start selling it to everybody openly uh, because I don't want to get uh 20 orders and then i have to refund everybody because um the shipping didn't work out or something like some things like that you know i just want to make sure everything goes right when i start selling things and a couple weeks ago i made the commentary video and somebody asked me how often do i plan on doing those i honestly don't know if i'm going to be doing any more of those because i had so many problems with monetization as you guys know you could or you might not know but uh when you make commentary videos you could use um, other people's videos as long as you do it under fair use which means you edit it you add commentary and you do different things to make it your own you know you can't just repost somebody's video and get money from it because that's illegal um, but um, the thing is that these big companies they abuse that and even though my video was under fair use the first time I had to dispute it like seven times before they finally gave me the rights to do it because YouTube doesn't even check if it's a proper uh, claim or not they just say they just give you the claim and if you try to dispute it instead of them checking it yourself themselves they just send it back to the person that claimed it for them to check and obviously that person why would they say no i'm not i don't want the money i'm just gonna take it you know they don't there's no um penalty for lying about um there's no penalty for lying about it being fair use so those companies they just do it to get free money and i guess i just annoyed them enough that um and i actually threatened them i said um this is fair use and it's legal it's illegal to like step on me for using it you know it's fair use and that's when they finally gave it to me i guess they just didn't want to take it to court which honestly i wouldn't have done because i'm not going to go through that much trouble for a 20 minute video that's going to get me like ten dollars first of all because i don't even make that much money for my videos but again it's a lot of work uh so if i find some any videos that aren't copyrighted i might do some but it's not it's not going to be as much as i i had hoped to do them and that same person asked me what my ethnicity was and I am Cuban or my parents are Cuban at least. I was born in Miami, but um, I guess that makes me Hispanic. But yeah, somebody asked me if I sell my snakes shed skin and I don't do that. I didn't know that people were interested in buying that and I honestly don't want to sell them. And I don't keep them either. I just throw them away, but I don't know. Selling it just seems kind of weird. And somebody had asked me what I named these two little Cetunosaurus Bakeri and I named them Hazel and Chacha because of the umbrella academy as you guys know i like to have the theme of um criminals for my iguana so i have hazel and cha cha bonnie and clyde and harley and jay which is harley and the joker so yeah these guys are doing awesome and they're starting to get a little bit bigger already and more tame as you can see she's trying to come to me 
and somebody was having problems with little gnats and this was what I used. I didn't use it in an enclosure, but I used it in my incubator and it worked pretty good. It's called fly paper. I just put it on this tray and all the flies just go right onto it and um, basically they just stick to it and die. So it's been working out great. I don't have any more gnats in my incubator anymore. And somebody asked me, when will I get my own property? As you guys know, I just turned 19 the other day and I started Shadows Reptiles a couple years ago. So I'm just starting to be able to uh, make enough money to where I could start thinking about getting my own place. But I still need about two years of income um, to be able to get that property because I don't have enough money to buy my own yet. But we'll see, I kinda, I'm not sure when I'll get my own property. And the thing is, I kinda, I'm, I'm debating what I wanna do. I'm thinking of getting like a normal house first and then just renting it out in the future and buying myself a bigger property because I want to get a big property because I kind of want to open like a little um, like a little zoo that you guys could come to and visit. And it's not going to be something like an actual zoo, but it's going to be like an agricultural farm. There's a lot here in Florida. I don't know if there's there is anywhere else, but there's like little places that you could go like nurseries and things um, where you could go like to little petting zoos and things like that. So I want to do it under that, which would be like agricultural. So that's my plan. Not sure when it's gonna happen. Hopefully in the next year, I'll probably get my own property and um, it just wouldn't be the property that I wanna open up Shadows Reptiles under. But um, eventually I will be getting a big property that will be open to the public. All right, so I know it's been a while since I asked you guys for some questions and it took me a while to start making these videos and to edit them because I've been having to do a lot of things throughout the week. I took in a couple new rescues. My car had broken down, so I had to get a new one. And yeah, I've just been having to do a lot of different things. So I've been making videos. I, been, I made a lot of videos throughout the week of what I've been doing. I just haven't had the time to edit them. So today I had a day off, so I'm gonna be able to edit some of the videos and hopefully start posting again. Although I'm gonna make it a little bit more, like I'm gonna give myself a little bit more time between videos so that um, it's a little bit even. I don't want to just post the three in a row and then be off for a week. You know, I might post one uh, once a week or maybe twice a week until I'm able to pick up the schedule again. Now with Christmas coming up, I usually slack a little bit because I go on vacation and things like that. You know, I'm not on YouTube the whole time. So, uh, yeah, so if you guys want to be part of the next video, the next Q&A, make sure you follow my Instagram. And I'm also trying to post a little bit more consistently on there because it's simpler. I can just take a picture and post it. Um, so if you want to follow me on there, it's Shadows Reptiles. Link's going to be in the description. Link's for everything on my website. So that's the link that you guys can click on to find all my socials, my merch, my shop, uh, rescue. Anything that you guys want to know about me is in that link. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.